this video, I'm showing you how you can retrieve an image from the internet or use something that you already have, bring it into Silhouette Studio, and print and cut out the image. So the first thing you need to do is choose an image, and I've already done that. I've retrieved this Android image from the web, and I'm going to bring that into Silhouette Studio by opening the file. Let's find this a little bit big. I'm going to make it smaller. That's okay for what we're doing today. And the first thing I need to do now is trace this image to give the program a cutting line or cutting lines that it can follow. And to do that, I need to have the trace window displayed, which is this icon on the far right. And then I need to select the trace area and draw a box around my image. And to get the best image for what I want to do, I'm going to clear the high pass filter box and I'm going to increase the threshold, give it a nice clear edge, and then I'm going to click on trace outer edge because that's all I want is the outer edge. So I now have my cutting lines and you can see that you can double you can check that you have cutting lines by by clicking the cut style window and you see that whatever is in red is your cutting line. Um, if I wanted to also cut out the eyes, then what I needed to do is not check the um, sorry the outline box. I'm gonna go back and do that by doing clicking undo a couple of times until I get back to where I am, and I'm going to tell it to trace. So now when I click this button to see my cut lines, you'll see that the eyes are also selected. So that shows you the difference between choosing trace outer edge or trace. Trace is going to trace everything that you see in yellow. I'm just undoing this so you can see it again. Wherever you've got yellow here, it will give you a line. So I'll just trace that again and there we go, we've got our cut lines. So now to cut this image out, what you need to do is choose your change your paper size. Right now it's set by for 12 by 12, and I need it to be a letter size paper, which is eight and a half by eleven. So I've clicked the page tools window and I'm going to select letter. The next thing I need to do is turn on the registration marks. And I'll do that by checking the show registration marks box. And it's very important that your image not be in these gray areas and it should be within the red lines as well. So now that's ready and I can send this image to my printer. I can just click the print button icon and I'm going to get some cardstock for that. I'm using Georgia Pacific cardstock because it's a very inexpensive cardstock that I get at Walmart in the States, but it's heavy enough for a print and cut. So that's in my printer. It's going to take it a second to determine what to print and then it will print that. My printer has printed out this image and you can see that the registration marks are here, here, and at the bottom over here. I'm just going to put this on my mat so that I'll be able to cut it out. And I've already changed the size on my Cameo. I've moved this, I forget what they call this, um, I've moved this over so that it's for eight and a half by 11 paper. To move that, all you need to do is move this blue button forward, which loosens the roller here. And then you just twist this a little bit and move it. Whoops, I need a little bit more and then it can just move it over to the side. This is where it would be for 12 by 12. And moving it over to here, 
makes the right size for eight and a half by 11. And you can see there are these notches here. And this is why you need to twist it. These notches here, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. Okay, right over here there's a notch. And you should also be able to see notches over here. No, that's out of this range of the camera. Yeah, I'll move this a little bit more so you can see it better. See those two notches there? So once you twist this back up, it will sit right in the notch. There we go. Snapped into place. And then don't forget to push this blue bar button back again. Now I'll get my image on my mat and I'll load this into the cutter. Always check the blade depth that you have. I know that I've already got a, a setting of three in there, so that's fine for this. And I'm gonna go back to the computer and tell it to cut. So now that the printer has printed my image and it's sitting in my Cameo, I need to tell Silhouette Studio to cut my image. So the first thing it's gonna do is it wants to detect registration marks. And I'm gonna tell it here to skip printing because I've already done that. And I'll tell it to continue and I'm gonna ask it to detect registration marks automatically. It's detecting the registration marks now. I'm zooming back out so you can see that a bit better. And that part is done. Back to the computer and I'll tell it to cut. Now it's going all around the image and cutting out wherever I had a cutting line. And now I'll show you what it has done for me. It has cut out my little Android guy very cutely. And if I remove his head, <laughs> you can see that the eyes have been cut out as well. Closer so you can see. And look at those little, little details, his little antenna. And it, it's a perfect print and cut because there was white paper. Look, there was white paper all around that. There is no green on this paper and there's no white on this paper. Any white that you see is just from the edge from sideways. If you look at it straight on, there's no white there at all. It does a perfect, perfect print and cut. So that's all there is to doing a print and cut. And if you have any other questions about it, please let me know. Um, either leave a comment on this video or in the Silhouette group, and I'd be happy to clarify some more. Thanks for watching.